Hello, in this tutorial we will look at how to use a geometry file to uh, customize the shape and geometry of the systems we we're going to simulate in a Vampire software package. A geometry file is a um, simple text file um, where we provide the in-plane coordinates of whatever sort of shape we want to customize our system in. And how can we do this in, uh, in Vampire? In the input file, we simply need to add the key create select material by geometry. And this will tell the code that we will provide in the material file the geometry file. And then in the material file, we specify per material the uh, file name of the geometry file by the key geometry file. And the geometry file um, is simple. It's a simple text file where we have the number of points um, or vertices that we have for our uh, shape or polygon that we want to have. And then we just uh, list this list of x, y coordinate. So as we can see, it's quite easy. And um, I will show three um, quite simple examples on how you can use the geometry file to specify and create your own shape. In the first one, I will show how to do system, which is um, in plane, uh, is an hexagonal shape. And um, the second one, instead, we will look at system where we separate two halves in the in-plane uh, and we define them as two different materials uh, which for example we can uh, associate a different magnetization and in the last example instead um, maybe a, me a bit more um, sophisticated in terms of what you can do but let's assume for example uh, we have a lithography process lithographic process and we will have these four blocks uh, on top of the uh, Square matrix underneath. So how can we can we do this? Well, I have created uh, these three examples. So if we go in the first one, so we go in the folder hexagonal particle, then well, I already pre-run the simulations, but I'll go through the um, input files quickly just to show what we're doing. So if I open our input file, we can see that I'm creating a simple cubic system. I require to generate the whole structure. And then what I say, in this case I say, create and select the material by geometry. And um, then I select uh, unicell size dimension, um, 2.5 angstrom, and I create a system whose in-plane x and y dimensions are 8 nanometers and is 10 nanometers in z. And um, I will just create a simulation that output a single time step because I am interested in just generating the structure. So I set the temperature, the time step, and I require the A a single total time step and then we will run the benchmark type of simulations we will not have any um, equilibration time and then in particular what we need to remember in this case is to output the configurations if we do this then well I already run the simulation so we just need to look at the material file in this case and um, if we look at our material file, now we see that I have added the line here, geometry file, hex.geo. And this file is simply um, containing the coordinates of an hexagonal um, polygon. So we have six points, and then I list the x and y coordinates as I mentioned before, they must be scaled between 0 and 1. 
And doing this, we will have our particle. So one. So we can see we have our in-plane hexagonal particle or shape, and then we have this 10 nanometer Z. So we have created our particle. In the next next example, uh, which is a uh, this cylinder where I split into, um, in order to have for example, an up and down magnetized particle. I will show you uh, that in this case, um, I select the material by geometry, but I also will apply this on top, not of a full system, but of a particular shape. Now the material file is the same as before, so we're not showing, but I will show um, our semicircle. Uh, left circumference chair. So in this case, to have a nice circular shape, I will I give forty points. You can see this one goes from the x-axis zero to one, and I generate the whole set of points. Quite um, simple description. And now if we Look at the the results. We'll see that I have created a system where the in plane is divided by um, this geometry file in a left and right semicircle, while in the z direction we have applied any particular restriction. The last example will be instead a field where we have these four regions which will uh, lay on top of the matrix and um, in order to do, to do this in the material file I had to define five materials, the first one called diffuse or interlayer is our matrix on which we will lay the materials the four regions so we see here we'll go between 0 and 0 0.5 so the first half and it has its own geometry file which is a simple uh, square which says take the whole system and I will show that in, in a second then we have the four other materials which are bottom left, bottom right, top right and top left uh, square region and each of those has its own geometry file and the last one as well and if we have a look at the geometry files we will see that it's simple square region so we just need four points with the four vertices again scale between 0 and 1 and um, our interlayer square geometry file is again a square region, but this will take the whole system. So it goes from 0 to 1 in x and 0 to 1 in y. And again, if we now look at what we have been creating with our uh, requirement in the, in the input files, we will see that we have generated a system where on top of this um, diffuse uh, phase we have these four regions which are defined as four different materials and its own as its own geometry file. Now you could potentially apply or uh, shape these regions in whatever um, geometry you, you, you prefer and the only limitation you have is how to describe it with a number of points. So I hope that this helps in understanding how to use a geometry file.